But one of those following Washington events closely is Mark Weinberger. He's CEO of EY and a former assistant treasury secretary under President George W. Bush in charge of tax policy. Mr. Weinberger also is a member of the Business Roundtable, which today is out with its quarterly survey of CEOs across the country. Mr. Weinberger, thank you very much for being here. Welcome to the program. Thank you, David. Okay, so give us a sense of this quarterly survey you've come out with. What did the CEOs tell you, the Business Roundtable, about what they really need and want out of Washington? Well, David, it's the things that you and Kevin have been talking about. I mean, we need to move forward on some of the policy initiatives that are out there. Uh, tax reform is the number one priority for Business Roundtable. There was a recent survey that suggested that 76% uh, of the members would actually increase hiring if tax reform were to pass and be more competitive tax rates in a competitive international system. Uh, Eighty-some percent would be uh, inclined to invest more in capital expenditures, which would increase productivity. And the converse is 90% said if it keeps being delayed, and we don't have we have this uncertainty and it doesn't happen we'll be less inclined to do so so that's really number one but infrastructure which is on the table this week's important deregulation is continuing all of those issues need to continue to move forward for most ceos the real question is demand how do we get the economy growing again something that the president has made his number one priority uh, of those things that you talk about which are the most important in your judgment or the judgment of the ceos that you represent at the business roundtable to getting overall uh, growth in the economy well, the consumers are actually spending, David, and, and the economy is growing. The key is um, having the long-term security to know that they will remain competitive. So removing the extra cost to hire the additional worker, removing the cost to invest in that additional plant and equipment, providing more certainty, I think is going to give that extra opportunity. If people are more secure in their jobs, if wages start to rise again, if, if uh, people are being hired again, um, that's going to increase the ability to spend. And that's really what I think the business community wants to do. Uh, small and large, this isn't just a large business issue like the business roundtable, all the small businesses are looking at the same exact things. So if certainty is the hallmark here, it is the goal, then that really does tell Congress something about what it can and cannot do when it comes to tax reform. It needs to be revenue neutral, doesn't it? Because they have to get it through Congress. They're not going to get 60 votes. Yeah, David, great point. So, so there's a lot of things you look at when you're trying to evaluate whether this is going to happen and when it's going to happen. First is how big of a priority is it the president is calling the leadership down today to the White House to talk about both tax reform and health care. That's an important initiative to move it forward. Congress only has 80 days left, legislative days, and so the priorities are important. Getting to this issue of tax reform, which we were just talking about, and getting it on the agenda, making the policy decisions, dealing with the politics, getting through what you're talking about, the process of the budget resolution, really important. Revenue neutrality is, is not as important as being fiscally responsible because it could be deficit increasing, for, for example, in the first 10 years. But after that 10-year period, it has to be back to revenue neutral so that it doesn't uh, create a 60-vote point of order is what the inside the beltway terminology is and does allow for um, a long term. Uh, bottom line is, uh, you know, in tax policy, nothing's permanent, so it's unclear whether anything could be permanent. Okay. Thank you so much. That's EY CEO Mark Weinberger coming to us from Washington.